hello guys so today I'm going to work on a material uh, that uh, in order to use with my frost attack so when I use a frost attack on my enemies they will be frozen like this and when they are frozen I need them to look like this so here in this material you can see uh, somewhat his uh, armor and the cloth a little bit right beneath the ice layer but still you see he's like a frozen character and the first part is creating the material and after this I look into how to dynamically change the material and freeze the character when I attack with the uh, frozen arrows and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me alright so this is how this character originally looks in the game and now let's start implementing uh, the ice material so I'll duplicate this one this night mat I name it night mat iced and create an instance from that and I'll assign that instance to this character so that I can easily preview the material right now after that I'll open this material and here I'm gonna need a couple of other textures so I got these textures from infinity blade project uh, you can freely download them from epic store I'll put a link also in the description below and these are the textures I'm going to use okay I'll import all three of them here like this and first I'll use this normal map instead of the one that I already have and I'll change this preview instead of this uh, sphere I'll select this actual character mesh so that I can I'll select it like this and here select this teapot like icon so now you can preview the material on top of this character like this all right now the first thing I am going to do is this I'm going to change the materials domain to shared in model to subsurface like this now it will activate this subsurface color node okay and I'm going to get rid of this spec texture and I will promote this metallic specular and roughness variables like this I'll give values like 0.5 for metallic and 0.5 for specular right then I'm going to get this texture and apply that for the subsurface color and then I'm going to select this one and apply as the base color like this so this is the first step right now this already looks like a, like a snow sorry iced but uh, I'll add some improvements so yeah for the base color I will add a color multiplier like this add a vector parameter and I'll name this one 
main color yeah just main color and I'll set the default value to white like this and connect it to the base color and I'll apply the changes and this is how it looks in the world and as you can see here you don't see the cloth underneath or the armor at all so now let's see this is the material parameter material instance and here I can change the main color like this if you want so I'll make it a little bit blue like this okay now let's see how to show this texture underneath the ice layer a little bit so for that I'm going to do something like this uh, I'm going to lerp that means linearly interpolate this texture with the output of this base color and for the alpha value I'm going to use the alpha of this one uh, the reason to use that is here you have some alpha some transparency here and therefore uh, I will not see the characters skin or the cloth everywhere only in some places so that's the effect I want to have and I'll connect the result of this lerping to the base color okay so now this is how it looks in the game but still it's not look uh, look good enough so I want to reduce the amount of the skin that I see through the snow layer so to do that I'll do something like this I will add another value to the alpha channel of this one and I'll promote this one to a parameter I'll call it SS power and I'll change it to let's say 0.5 and this is how now it looks in the game so in this parameters using these parameters I can change the amount that I see my character clothes like this So if I make it closer to zero, you will see cloth more clearly. If I increase it closer to the one, you will see less. Okay, now I need some color for the subsurface. I need a way to change that color. So for that, I'll multiply this one and promote this to a vector parameter I'll call this one subsurface color and I'll set the default value to 1 apply right now this is how it looks so now here I have this subsurface color parameter as well so there you can change the color to any color you need and yeah that's uh, yeah that's the that's all for today this is the material that i'm going to use for my frost attacks you can see here when you go closer to the character some amount of this 
original skin of the texture is seen through the ice layer so that's the exact effect I wanted to have so if you want to show it more you can do this now you can see more the characters face like this okay thanks for watching so I posted an source code a source code update yesterday so uh, in the next video I'll show you how to select the frost arrows and attack the enemies with them and then how to affect them how thanks for watching if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club right here and link would be in the description below goodbye